So this is another design of a displacement pump. There's a lot of different designs out on the internet. Um, some folks use some parts from Lowe's, uh, like a foot valve and check valves. Uh, but th this I was just using spare parts, so uh, marbles and, and some various pipe fittings to build the check valves and the foot valves. Um, the concept's all the same. Uh, the parts and configuration might be slightly different, but just the general concept is exactly the same. At any rate, I thought I'd share this. Uh, the foot valve is just a PVC. <clears throat> This is electrical conduit. Again, for potable water, you probably wouldn't want to use this. You'd probably want to use regular PVC. Again, it's what I had on hand. Drilled holes through it so we the water uh, has access into the foot valve. Cap on the bottom. And then here, you see I have it epoxied. And what it is, is inside of here, between the two, is a, a sprinkler. Uh, it's, it's effectively a, a sp sprinkler riser. Uh, which is a black pipe and you can cut it with a razor knife. So I was able to cut it and use sandpaper around the top to make it smooth so that the marble that's in here, um, when it seats, it actually is um, um, sealed so that the water doesn't come down. The big thing with your foot valve, if, if, any, if any of these check valves leak with a displacement pump, you're done. You gotta dis disassemble it and fix that because uh, the water obviously has to be trapped in here um, when you push the piston downward. This is inch and a quarter and we go up towards the top it's a T and here's a cap I just drilled a three-quarter inch hole so that this three-quarter inch conduit can slide through here. Now if we pull this out again this is Schedule 40. Again, for potable water, I probably wouldn't use that. It's what I had on hand. I created a check valve here. This is three-quarter, excuse me, one-inch pipe, PVC. And these O-rings uh, I had lying around. These are from Harbor Freight. And all I did was use a Dremel tool to notch this out so that they fit in here. Put a little food-grade silicone on it so that it's somewhat lubricated and it's food safe. <laughs> and then on the end here, this is that uh, riser, sprinkler system riser. It's that black pipe that you can cut with a razor knife. And all I did, on, again, on the inside is smooth it out so that the, the um, marble will seat in here. So it truly is a one-way check valve. This white stuff is epoxy. And then, of course, we drilled holes here so that the water can come in. And we have here epoxied a stainless steel screw which stops the marble from going up. Okay, so a little bit of just demonstration of it um, out of a five gallon bucket. It works really well, it's fairly effort, effortless. So here's just a pumping it with one hand while I'm holding the camera. So it's, it, it works really well. Now some things that, you know, if I was going to build this from scratch um, and, and buy some parts, I would probably just go to Lowe's and buy some pieces. Like the, they have a foot valve there, I think it's like 14 bucks. I'd just buy one. Um, but you know, if you're in a pinch using a marble and uh, gluing some pieces of PVC together, it would work really well. And then same thing with the check valve. Uh, Lowe's has got one, it's like a three quarter inch one that uh, would fit uh, right into an inch and a half pipe and it fits really well just with a little bit of um, sanding it down and I would probably actually do the same thing with the o-ring and you could build a really nice one uh, that would that would again probably work better than this I did notice you know just a few things that um, that I, I found as a challenge with this is that pieces of PVC shavings got caught in this foot valve and if this foot valve gets plugged you're done. So I had to dismantle it and try to get that piece out. Um, the foot valves at Lowe's has a better strainer on it. They even have a brass one uh, that would help uh, particles from getting in there and, and that's that's key because if this foot valve gets plugged up you you gotta pull the whole thing out. 
I did see some designs where people were using leather. Quite candidly, I, I don't know if leather would work better than, than um, you know, maintenance-wise over these rubber O-rings, but the uh, rubber O-rings work well. Uh, and the only other thing that I would probably do differently on this was I saw some uh, inch and a quarter to three-quarter inch bushings, and that would probably work better than this. It would be a, a slightly better fit. Um, because I do get a little bit of water seepage out of here. It's not bad, but I think it'd just be a cleaner fit if, if I used um, something like that. Uh, but other than that, it works really, really well, and it's really effortless. So this will be interesting to try it around here. Um, the well here is about 90 feet deep, and so, of course, this would be extended significantly longer, and we'll have to give it a try. At any rate, just thought I would share this different approach. Um, compared to some of the ones that we've seen on the internet.